Hey guys, so I'm back with another haul. Uh, I'm sick, I've got a chest infection, so I've already tried to record this about three times and I just keep coughing my guts up, so I'm hoping that I've stopped for a little while so I can talk enough to get through this haul. So the haul's pretty random, it's Dave's birthday next week and so I just got him a few bits and it's a bit of a mishmash of things so I'm going to show you what I got. First up on Dave's birthday list was a hoodie um, and he likes old hoodies so he actually usually buys hoodies on eBay um, because he likes them to be sort of worn in and second hand, they have to be zip up hoodies, it's just his preference. Um, but I found this at Asda. Um, so it's George, the clothing section of Asda, and it was only £10 and it is super, super soft. It's just a zip-up hoodie in like um, blue, it's coming off more grey on the camera, but it is sort of like a dark blue. Um, and my camera's just running out of battery, that's brilliant. And it just has the little white toggle things. Um, I know a lot of the teenagers wear these. Oh, he wishes. Um, and then it's got like a grey flannel inside, but it was super duper soft. Um, so I just thought that would be a good option and it was new. Um, then also from Asda I got him a bottle of wine, um, he loves wine, this is a red um, South African wine from Leopard's Leap Estate, it's a Shiraz 2012, I think it was about £6 on sale, um, but we do love our red wine and that was, this is super duper yummy. So that was what I got from Asda, then I went to, today I went to Matalan and I got him two things from there. The first thing I got him was also on his birthday list. He wanted a bag for work that he could take his lunch and stuff in. Excuse how white my face is. It's just where I'm sitting if I come forward. It's not so white. But then you can see the bags under my eyes. Um, it's just where I'm sitting. I'm sitting in like a bay window. So I've got like light. But it does take away the bags from under my eyes, which is brilliant. Anyway, I'm rambling. So, um, on his birthday list, he requested a bag for work that he could take his lunch. He just takes, like, his lunch and his pass and his um, iPad and phone. Um, so he wanted, like, one of those crossbody bags that the guys wear. But I couldn't find one that could get here in time. Like, all the ones that I saw online were from China and... Um, then there was one at Amazon, but it was like a really small bag, and oh, I'm just not sure if it's the right kind of thing. So I went to Matalan, and I found him this messenger bag, um, and it's grey. It's like a normal satchel size, and it's got a zip pocket at the front, and then you open it up, and it's just like a big pocket inside with a side zip in there, so I thought he could probably put his phone in there. This would easily fit his lunch and his iPad in. Um, and then he can still wear this cross body. So I actually wore it all the way around the shop. It was really comfortable. It's just like a canvas bag. Um, and because sometimes he wears a suit to work, I thought the color was good because the little backpack cross body things I was looking at were all like khaki colored. I just didn't, oh, didn't know. I thought this would probably be okay if he's wearing a suit or, I mean, they always have to dress smart, but sometimes for meetings and that he has to wear a gray suit. So. I thought that would still go. And that was only £10 as well, so a bargain there. The next thing I got at Matalan was two work shirts. This is what he requested um, for work because he was, he's got a few shirts, but I think that just because he's wearing them every day, the same five shirts, like one day a week, it just gets so boring. So I found these and I love them. They're like um, almost like a grey with a blue tinge so this is just like a plain grey and then this one at the front is sort of dark grey light blue and white stripes and then you got a tie with it as well um, and that was £16 for two they're long sleeve shirts in his size bargain right then I went to oh no I got one more thing at Matalan and this thing was for myself. I got this little top. It's in like a teal color. It's coming up more blue on camera, but it is um, more teal than that. And it's just one of these like flowy 
because I have huge boobage, it's quite tight around the boobs, but then it sort of flows over my mummy tummy. Um, and I wear this with jeans or with leggings or whatever. And this was a bargain. I think I only paid six pounds for it. So that was a total bargain because I paid double this for one in Dorothy Perkins last month. So I got myself that. Then the last shop I went into was B&M and I just bought some random bits. Um, I probably didn't need any of it, but I was just in one of those I feel sick, feel sorry for me moods. So the first thing I bought was Christmas wrapping paper. Um, Christmas is not, I, you're probably all going to shoot me down in flames for saying this, but it is not my favourite holiday. <laughs> And I don't know why. I wish I liked it. This is probably a whole video on its own. But um, I, I think because none of our family is close by and because we're quite new to where we live, we've sort of only lived in the UK um, four years. So our family's spread out everywhere and like our friends all do stuff with their families. And I mean, obviously we have our family to spend time with and we always have such a lovely time. But I don't know, I just, I just don't get the whole Christmas thing like I find it really hard to sort of get in the spirit we're always in the spirit on the day but like months and months before I'm gonna have to do a whole separate video on this but anyway I thought to try and get myself in the Christmas spirit I'm going to buy some wrapping paper and it, it's huge it's like a meter meter wide yeah it's a meter wide and it's five meters long and it says Santa stop here 25th of December. Um, so I thought that was quite sweet and it was only 99 pence. The next thing that I bought was a bit of an impulse buy but I loved it um, and I thought it was a really good price. It's this wooden heart um, and again it's not coming up a great color on the camera but it's like a turquoise, almost a dull turquoise but it's coming up grey and it says always look on the bright side of life um, and it's just got like a string hanger and I only paid £3.99 for that so bargain I'm going to put it as soon as you walk in our front door this will be the first thing you see and I think it just makes you want to sing that song I'm not going to sing it now but always look on the bright side of life dude so that was that then I have a random bag of stuff, um, possibly quite boring, but I'm just going to pull it out because I can't remember what I bought. Oh, right, so I bought two plug-in air fresheners. I have got loads of plug-in air fresheners and I always buy the wrong refills, it drives me nuts. Um, but they were 99p each and I just thought, do you know when you're sick, like if you're a mom, excuse the camera, if you're a mom and you get sick, you just actually don't have time to be sick. Like, you still got to carry on and do stuff. And Dave has been brilliant at, like, getting the girls to help and stuff. But I just find my house is just a mess. So I'm cheating and I'm buying these. <laughs> so that when people come to drop off and collect my children, like my wonderful friends have done for me today, then my house doesn't smell like poo. It smells like fresh linen comfort. Little housekeeping tip for you there. Next thing I bought, peanut butter M&M's. Are they peanut butter? Yes. Oh my word, I love anything with peanut butter in. I love M&M's. These are mine. I'm probably going to lie down and lie down. I'm actually going to lie down and eat my peanut butter M&M's after to filming this. Um, oh, then I bought this. It's like a lavender body lotion and body wash set. Um, my dad has been helped so much by Macmillan this year. And on Friday the 26th, um, the whole, it's like a national Macmillan coffee morning. So supporting people with cancer. Um, and I'm going to the coffee morning with him. And I've managed to get him a hamper of stuff from work to pop into the raffle. But I thought I'd get a couple of extra bits as well. So I bought this. Um, and it was, I think it's a lot of older people that go to the coffee mornings. And I know they love things like this. It comes in this little like metal stand. And um, there was one out on the shelf and it actually smells radical. So, and they were on sale for a pound. So, I had to get one of those. So, I'm going to pop that into the raffle. Then I just bought some conditioner, cheapy Alberto Balsam. Balsam? 
little bit of balsam. I don't know, but it's the coconut one. We use it. We love it. It's cheap. Um, and then I bought a Timote Normal to Greasy Hair Shampoo. I used to always use Timote when I lived at home. And then I just stopped using it. And this one's got no silicones, parabens, or colorants in it. So um, I find that quite good, actually, for my... And it smells just like Timote. Um, I find it good for my oily hair and it was on sale for 99 pence so buying. and then the last thing I got was these Belgian chocolate options hot chocolates they're already 24 calories in a cup and they're just like those I'll actually open them up so they're just like these little plastic cups and then in each individual cup is a shot of hot chocolate I actually bought these to take to work um, and I know it's probably a really expensive way of doing it, but actually I think I only paid 40 pence for 8 cups, and I thought these would be good to just keep in my office cupboard, and when I feel like a little treat, then I can go and have one, and they're only 24 calories a cup. Right, so that was everything I got. I know it's a bit random-ish, but it's current. I've literally bought this stuff over the last two days, so um, if you liked anything, they should still have it all in store. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to go and lie on the couch now and probably have a hot chocolate and peanut butter M&M's, which probably isn't going to do my chest any favours, but, um, I'm going to watch some girly TV. So that's my Saturday afternoon taken care of. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this kind of thing and, um, subscribe if you're new here. And again, hello to all of my new subscribers. There's so many of you over the last two weeks and it's just awesome. Have a fabulous weekend.